All right, hi, we're back, and today we're looking at the plank. I believe it is an underutilized and misunderstood movement that should be in every training repertoire. Uh, the plank is all about isometric contraction, and I'm going to set up the position and I'm going to have Julie come in and kind of demonstrate uh, on me what isometric contraction is. So I'll kind of go through it quickly, and then uh, we'll have Julie come and test. So, when we set up our plank, there's any number of ways of planking. You know, like these are all, these are all plank positions. Uh, I prefer to do them on my elbows, which is what I'm going to demonstrate. But the key facet and the key aspect of a plank is the isometric contraction. Without the isometric contraction, you are not planking. You are teaching your body to hold the position. So, I'll show you how I do it. You can test that out for yourself. Um, I shouldn't say how I do it, it comes from the RKC, the Russian Kettlebell Club. It's how they do it. And uh, so do it your way, test it my way, see which one works better for you. My guess is that what you're going to see is that a three or four or five hour plank record is nonsense, it's impossible. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up the elbow position, or uh, uh, the elbow, the, well, we're gonna set up this position here. We'll just get right into it. What I want to do as best I can is line my elbow up with my shoulder. I'm going to externally rotate my arms. I have a little bit of bend in my back. Okay, so I'm arching up just a tiny little bit. My feet are together. My glutes are engaged. My quads are engaged. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my elbows back towards my midline. Okay, and that's sort of the key to it. I'll do that again. We'll bring Julie in and she's going to test this, okay? And uh, she gets to beat on me a little bit here. So, come on in, Julie. I'll set it up again. So I've got elbow above shoulder, externally rot rotated position here. My feet are together. And I'm going to ask Julie to pull my ankles apart. Right? So, not too easy to do. So I'm going to come up to my glutes, make sure they're engaged. Okay, and then she's gonna give me a boot in the thigh. You can kick a little harder than that. Maybe come around to the other side. And this is starting to get hard. And now into my core as well. That's not my core, that's my back. Kick, 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 kick. Hit me, woman. There we go, that's better. Okay, so the key is, <laughs> that was a hard hold. Generally, we recommend sort of 10 or 12 seconds and I'll show you what a 10 or 12 second plank really looks like. Um, so, elbow stacked above the shoulder, okay? Feet together, glutes engaged, core engaged, thighs engaged. Okay, so, elbows roughly above the, uh, below the shoulder, feet together, glutes on quads on core on, arms externally rotated, and now I'm gonna pull my elbows towards my midline. And if you can do this at full force <clears throat> for more than 10 or 12 seconds, you're cheating. So there's the plank. Uh, yeah, there's the plank. All right, thanks very much.